to our earth is the belief that somebody else is going to save it. With this beautiful saying, I would like to start my speech off by thanking you all for attending this speech. But before starting my speech, I want to state that I am not here just to deliver a well, well carried out speech. I am here to make a statement and change, a, change your perspective on the topic global warming. So, you all might be wondering, what exactly is global warming? Global warming is a rise of temperature in the Earth's atmosphere, primarily caused by greenhouse gases. The consequences of global warming are far-reaching and can affect us all. It, affects, it can affect the smallest pest to the biggest elephant in the world. It also causes harm to polar bears and low-lying areas. It also caused the death of 6,000 polar bears in the last three years. Now, isn't that crazy to think about? Aren't polar bears almost going to be extinct? So why don't we worry about this? I think this is a topic that we should be worrying about. But us humans are dumb. We try to ignore it by adding up fake problems that don't even exist and ignoring the, this big problem of global warming. I mean, in the past 100 years, our temperature has increased by 0 0.12 Fahrenheit, which is double than what it was increasing at since the 1800s. It also broke the ozone layer in 2020. Now, you might think, breaking the ozone layer isn't that big a deal. No, it is. It is, a, it is the biggest deal. It can cause skin cancer, sending harmful rays to your skin. It actually killed six people in USA, Florida. Condolences to them. Now, let's talk about the causes of global warming. Global warming is caused by fossil fuels and large excessive emission of petroleum. Now, most of you must have come to this place from a taxi, school bus, or a bike. Technically, we are all polluting the air some ways in some shape or form, but we are not aware of it. So we just act like it never happened. <laughs> but we should not ignore the fact. It is not a laughable subject. It is a very serious matter. Now, the precautions of global warming are using electrical cars as a much more relevant alternative to fossil fuel powered cars. I mean, electrical cars are much cheaper, much efficient, and are easy to refill. <laughs> I mean, who's paying 240 rupees for petrol? Electrical cars are so much sufficient, and I don't understand why humans are not condoning it. Like, don't you want the earth to be clean? Don't you want the earth to be not polluted for once? With this, I would like to stop my, stop my speech. Thank you.